Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is, uh, it's mine and so it's cheesy big country breakfast today. And they all wonder why I'm not in the kitchen cooking breakfast. I got a little introduction to do here. We make a French toast casserole today, y'all, for the big country breakfast of the week. We just left Easter week, and, uh, so I'm back to my normal. Last week was all about Easter menus and stuff. We're back to my normal schedule. For the day as of yesterday, you saw the turkey necks with the barbecue sauce. That was motivational Monday. Today is Tuesday. Big country breakfast tomorrow is, I don't know what tomorrow is. I might have some ch uh, chicken backs tomorrow, but. Not today, Monday. Chicken backs tomorrow. But anyway, I want to introduce somebody. I've been uh, trying to get on my team. I know. <laughs> When they get this video, it's going to be Tuesday. <laughs> but uh, I've been uh, trying to get, y'all been saying, oh, I need to get a cameraman. I need to get uh, this and that. I've been trying to get this young man on the team. Y'all have seen him before in some episode when he did Chicken Makata on live or whatever. But y'all already know about, I have four people on my team and they mostly behind the scenes. I got a videographer. I got a publicist. I got, of course, attorney and a CPA, but they're not on camera. But this young man here gonna be behind the camera. He, his his primary job gonna be cameraman, and he gonna be doing a little cooking here and there. But you'll see him on and off more than most of my team. Also, you'll see more of me. A lot of y'all wanna see. Oh, I wanna see you eat. I wanna see you do this. And now y'all have the luxury to do that because I have somebody holding the camera. Y'all wanna see the different angles that I can't get with me trying to do it by myself. You can see more clear, uh, closer food angles when I'm cooking and uh, close up and stuff like that's an advantage. But like I say, y'all already know my, uh, I have a very, very strict criteria of people work for me. You gotta be, you know, very, you know, I'm attention to detail type person. So bring this young man on, it's really, it's gonna be like a full-time, full, really he's part-time, he's eventually gonna be full-time. I'm eventually gonna bring some, one more person I got in my budget, maybe next year, more of a cooking thing. But like I told y'all, I ain't gonna be doing this forever and I'm trying to mentor young people to bring them on. So before I do the video of the um, casserole, I wanna bring on Dylan and introduce him to y'all so y'all know who he is. He's gonna be behind this camera, you're gonna see who he is and uh, who's talking and whatever. And like I say, I love to mentor young men and young people. So yeah, Dylan, come in and we'll introduce you to them. Okay. And welcome to the old How school soul food yeah. family. So yeah, he gonna be doing a lot of camera. I'm gonna be showing him a lot to do. We're gonna be learning together certain things. We're gonna be learning together. He got some ideas. I'm gonna listen to them. You know, young people have some ideas on special on social media. So. We're going to see how we can make this thing even better. You know me, I'm always about improvement and stuff like that. So, uh, you got anything to say or whatever? No, just nice to meet y'all. I'm Dylan. I'm happy to be part of Old School Soul Food. And if you watched my Vegas video this past March, he was the one with me. And, you know, he was what I really liked. I didn't even tell him this. When I met somebody, something happened. He already had the camera out recording and taking pictures. And that was him. <laughs> being proactive itself and that really, really uh, showed me a lot. So, I mean, I only go up from here. So, anyway, y'all, I just want to show y'all that. And uh, now it's time for the cooking video. When it's, when it comes back on, I'll be in the kitchen cooking. We're gonna do some French roll, French, co French toast casserole, y'all. Very simple, very easy, and uh, very light. No, I'm just kidding, it's not light at all. So anyway, y'all, I love y'all and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, French toast casserole. I already told y'all I'm going to do that. I'm going to step off here. I just want to show y'all the ingredients. I'm going to step off here, get everything prepped up, and we're going to put this together. It's very simple, very easy. The longest part is cooking it in the oven, y'all. I got French bread. The brioche is actually good for French, uh, French toast casserole. For French toast, but French toast casserole, I like to use actual French bread, brown sugar, eggs, I like the red, y'all know I look at the room took here, but it doesn't really matter. I had these out, I was gonna do a cake, but it doesn't matter because it's going in the oven. But if it's room temperature, it'll actually soak into the bread more easy and better. Regular milk, cinnamon, a little vanilla, 
And this butter is gonna be for the spruce. It's like I'm gonna put like a spruce on top and not really spruce because I'm not gonna add flour. I'm gonna just do brown sugar and butter and a little cinnamon in it. We're gonna sprinkle that on top, bake it in the oven, dribble with makeup syrup when it come out. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. I'm gonna get bread chopped up, eggs cracked. We're gonna make the uh, custard for this and uh, put it in the oven. Don't take long. Uh, Tuesday, big country breakfast. Just getting started. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, we gonna make the we gotta make the custard for this uh I got my bread here already cubed up. This is one large uh French bread already cubed up. Now I'm gonna make the um custard for this. Like I said, y'all, y'all can actually make this the night before and uh put it in the refrigerator and uh just put it in the oven. The next morning, it'll work out perfect like that. How do I get my eggs? Like I said, these eggs are room temperature. So uh, they'll whip, whisk up a little bit better. I got milk in here. And y'all know the recipe is in the description of the description box of the video, y'all. Get that all mixed up. Put the vanilla in there. It's like a regular French soap, y'all. It's just in a, it's just in a casserole form. Just set them all mixed up in there. Then we're gonna add our brown sugar. Get it all mixed up. How easy was that? How easy is that, y'all? y'all now my bread crumbs my bread crumbs my uh my bread got a crust up there you get closer than that oh yeah you get way closer than that my bread um uh, is cubed up like this like uh like a medium cube top it up like that and all i'm gonna do y'all ain't gonna do it like a bread pudding i'm gonna do it like a i'm gonna pour the actually pour the uh Cuss it over the top. And you can use your hands or you can do it like me, just kind of scoop it up like this and let all that custard soak into the bread, y'all. You want to get it good and coated. See that? See how the custard's kind of disintegrating? That's what you want. That's what you want, y'all. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this in the casserole dish here. And don't worry about that extra liquid because it's going to definitely, definitely going to soak up that liquid as it sets. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to put like a, like I told you, it ain't a really a screwsal topping. And what I like to do too, I like to make sure the, if possible, the, it presents better. The it, the hull, or what do you call the hull of the bread, is at the top. A few of them, it makes it present better. Now, now I'm gonna let that sit there, hang out there a little bit. And what I'm gonna do? I got my um, brown sugar. I got some brown sugar, some butter. Brown sugar. Some cinnamon. Actually, I'm gonna take a fork here. here. Fork here. Kind of mix this up here. Then use a spoon, whatever. See, it's better. Y'all got a camera, and y'all can see this stuff better. Y'all might actually see me eat too. I got somebody here to help me eat all this food too. You know Dylan, he don't eat much, just as much as me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna get all this kind of worked in here. Okay. All right, y'all. Now all I'm gonna do, y'all, 
got my hands here and kind of sprinkle it on top there. That's gonna give it a little extra, extra goodness there for it when it bake off. Can't go wrong with butter and brown sugar. See that? How good is that, y'all? Okay. What I'm gonna do now, all I'm gonna do is put it in the oven, uncover it, 350 degrees, 30 minutes, y'all. You don't have to zoom out. I ain't gonna see watch me put it in the oven. Yeah, 350 degrees, 30 minutes. We come back, we're gonna drizzle it with uh I'm gonna show you how it is when it come out, and then we're gonna drizzle with maple syrup, y'all. It don't get no better. We'll be right back. It's ready. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We are back, and just took it out the oven here. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna step off here. Y'all see here, it's nice and firm. You got that nice, uh, see that nice brown sugar and, and uh, cinnamon on top and on top. But like I said, y'all can do this uh, the night before and just let it sit up. So anyway, y'all. Um, I'm gonna step off, I'm gonna do my famous YouTube thumbnail, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna taste this. We're gonna put some maple syrup on it, and we're gonna taste it and see how it is. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, y'all like this new? It's a new way, I'm gonna so y'all can see me eating. So I'm gonna put some maple syrup on here. Y'all know I love this butterworth syrup. Y'all see that? French toast casserole. Let's see how it is, y'all. I already know it's good. It's hot. Mm-hmm. That's good, y'all. That <clears throat> cinnamon, brown sugar, maple syrup. Can't get no better. Definitely hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got good stuff there. All right, y'all. One more bite. I'm gonna close the video. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. He didn't know I gotta close the video out. Like I say, having Cameron, cameraman, it's gonna be great. Y'all see more of me. So, anyway, y'all. Monday motivational. No, this ain't Monday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Big country breakfast in the books. So I'm gonna close this video out. First time I ever close the video out. What y'all see me? Now I did it with my chat. But anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on social media accounts: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next poll on y'all. I want y'all to put in the comments. Also, if I finish the video out, how the camera going, what what more you want to see, what don't you want to see. I'm, you know I read every comment. So I'm going to take y'all feedback and see what I do. Like I said, I know y'all want to see me eating my food. Y'all want to see more of me on the video. So... That's what's supposed to happen in the next few days, weeks, and months to come. Just trying to improve the quality and the content and go from there. So anyway, y'all, love y'all. Till next time, have a blessed old school soulful day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.